There's controversy today surrounding a Florida high school. Lyman High School in Seminole County is covering one page of the school's yearbook that the principal says is out of compliance with the state's new parental rights and education law known by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill. The page in question, you see it right here. It shows students holding rainbow flags and love is love signs during a rally after Governor DeSantis signed that new law. Students say all they did was document what was happening at school. So is this censorship and do schools in Florida have the right to cover up or remove content from yearbooks? To get a sharper insight, we spoke with Hadar Harris. She's the executive director of the Student Press Law Center, a nonprofit that supports and defends the First Amendment and press freedom rights of high school and college journalists. They're now working with these students. It's the job of yearbook journalism to document the student experience and to create an accurate record of the school year. That's true whether it's a football game, whether it's the prom, or whether it's protests. So censoring and, um, and trying to cover up with stickers, um, that student experience is absolutely a form of censorship. But a 1988 Supreme Court ruling allows schools to censor student work for reasons including grammar or content that's vulgar, profane, or unsuitable for immature audiences. Right now, SPLC is reviewing the school's reasoning for this. We can tell you that at least two other high schools in Seminole County have had their yearbooks pulled for review, according to SPLC.